Yo, people, what's good? Welcome. Welcome to the old channel, the Real Hard Eight Times. Now on the channel where I pretty much... Uh, it's like a throwaway channel. It's like videos I really don't give a fuck about. Drama videos, shit like that. I upload them on this channel, man. This is the throwaway channel. You dig? But I just want to address something. I don't know. I just, I just felt like I was in the mood to, uh, to address this shit, right? So, uh, lately, um... There's been like this boom of uh, of uh, crumb snatchers trying to come up. You know what I mean? Bunch of crumb snatchers, you know, that once loved me at one time. You know, you uh, what they say? You either die hero or live long enough to become the villain. <laughs> they loved me at one time. They done watched all my shit. I even heard one of these crumb snatchers. He was talking about a video I did six years ago, damn near. So he's been around for a minute. I mean, this crumb snatch have been around for a minute, but now that he's trying to uh, grow his channel, now I'm the enemy. <laughs> and, um, you know, now I'm, I'm, I'm in his crosshairs and shit or whatever like that. You know what I mean, now that it's time to try to get, get a motherfucking channel off the ground. I mean, nigga been watching me for years, but now that he's trying to get that motherfucking channel off the ground, now I'm in the crosshairs and shit. Now I'm the enemy. I'm the bad guy now. But anyway... These crumb snatchers, they just, they come right on YouTube, they start their channel, and the first thing they think is going to help them get exposure is to attack, you know, drama videos, attack everybody. So, you know, people be calling them out and shit like that, and they'll say shit like, well, well Hardy, Hardy built his channel on drama. <laughs> oh, really? Hardy built his channel on drama? Why you, you know, and they name a couple other people, but we're only going to talk about me. Uh, Cause that's all that that matters, me. So they say I built my channel on on drama. Oh really? I think y'all motherfuckers forgot. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a history lesson and uh refresh your memory. Now if you look right here, I got old channel was at four thousand subs, sixteen point two million views, and uh pretty proud of that. Um you know whatever I did it. You know what I'm saying? I did that. <laughs> now, uh, I'm looking at my most popular videos. This is my videos with the most views. Now, let's look at this. Because I built my channel on drama. Let's look at this. Now, if you look at how many in a row? Six in a row? One, two, three, four, five. You look at my top 30 videos, not one of them is a drama video. Not one is a drama video. In fact, my most viewed video, which is right here, 3.4 million views. These crumb snatches can only wish that they could have a single video do that many views. Yes, I'm part of the multi-million view club. You mad, crumb snatches? Are you mad? <laughs> it's a gaming video. My top 30 most viewed videos, not one is a drama video. See, what these dudes fail to realize is that the Jesus Bynum video is the video that got me rolling. You see? A gaming video. Not a drama video. When I put up that Jesus Bynum video, I went from 200 subs to 3,000 in one day. You dig? See, 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 your crumb snatchers can't do nothing like that because you motherfuckers are not entertaining enough. <laughs> Jesus Bynum video was a gaming video. It took me from 200 subs to 3,000. Why? Because I'm funny. I'm entertaining. I didn't need drama. That took me to the promised land. That video got me got all eyes on me. It went viral. Had me doing interviews with Kotaku and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? A gaming video. Something that you fucking crumb snatches can't seem to do to actually get a spark. So what you want to do? You want to attack. But it don't seem to be working for you crumb snatches. But that's what got my ball rolling. Now yeah, in the beginning, I did have some drama videos. I damn sure did. But it wasn't the drama videos like these crumb snatches. I wasn't attacking people trying to get views. I was coming straight out of jail to YouTube. 
I didn't know nothing about all this politicking and all this motherfucking networking and all that. When I said I was cool with somebody, I was really cool. And then when I found out, found out shit was different and motherfuckers were just playing the game, then niggas got called out for that. You know what I'm saying? That's what that was about. You dig? Personal shit like that. You know what I mean? Niggas being called out for being frauds. Like, I ain't know nothing about networking and just playing the game to get ahead. Niggas seen I was on the way up when that Jesus Bynum video came up. So, you know, niggas wanted to get next to next to a nigga and try to ride that wave too. But come to find out, niggas wasn't keeping it 100. So that's why niggas got called out. Yeah, I made a video about Kids Smooth and Wings of Redemption. But that was over their game play. Just me commentating over their game play play because they always tried to make it seem like they were these super good Call of Duty players when they really wasn't. But that's neither here nor there. But let's keep going. So my top 30 videos, no drama. But I built my channel on drama. Also, these crumb snatchers don't realize that Life Behind Bars, you know that series that got over a million views? You know the series that everybody's talking about or they were talking about it, but I still get notifications for people that's watching it right now. That was a huge series for me. Huge. I got a lot of subs off of Life Behind Bars. I had people subbing to me that didn't even give a fuck about video games, but they subbed because of Life Behind Bars. And a lot of them didn't unsub, but Life Behind Bars was huge for me. Did y'all forget that Life Behind Bars was a big thing. One of the most popular playlists in this, or series in this community. Did y'all niggas forget Crumb Snatchers? Funny though, I came up with the Crumb side of YouTube. Now all these niggas is running with it. You hate me so much, but you want to use something I created. I even, Vine even said these motherfuckers is creating podcasts using something that I created. <laughs> That shit funny to me. But let's keep going. So, okay, so we established the top 30 didn't have no drama. When is we going to get a drama video? Okay, we went down some more. 36, 42, no drama. Where's the drama, people? 48, where's the drama? Bam, finally, we get to drama right here. You see with the pedophile of YouTube. That is the first drama video that cracked. So it cracked the top. I got one drama video in the top fucking 50. <laughs> but, but I built my channel on drama. Okay, okay. One drama video in the top 50. Mm. And then you got the Wings of Redemption right here, but that was just making fun of his gameplay. No drama. If you want to call that drama, then whatever makes you feel good. But look at that. Look at all of these gameplay videos. All of these. These are my top view videos. All of this gaming, 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 gaming. Life behind bars. Gaming, gaming, gaming. A, 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 a parody video or a joke video buying subs. HC. I forgot what the, the video was about. Gaming. My subs suck. I don't know if that was, if I really felt that way or was that a... Uh, uh, an April Fool's joke. I don't know. That was five years ago. Gaming. Look at all of these videos that are gaming with a lot of views. But I built my channel on drama. You see, the thing about me is I'm able to be entertaining outside of drama. You dig? Hence, all of these videos with all of these views that are not drama. See, that's the thing that you crumb snatches can't do. Because when you do your gaming videos, nobody watches. And then when you do your drama, you get a little bit more viewers because the motherfuckers that hate me, they'll show up anywhere. Any fucking where. Anywhere. It could be a fucking dude eating shit on the video. If Hard Eight's name is in the goddamn title, motherfuckers will watch the whole thing. Good video, even if it ain't me. <laughs> That's how much they hate me. But look at this. Gaming. All of this racism and gaming it wasn't drama, but if you want to say it, okay, okay. Now we got a little drama right here sprinkled in there with the chocolate chip face roast. You know what I'm saying? Gaming, gaming. Then you got some crap gamer. Gaming, gaming. Then you got Team Star being racist. I made that video four years ago. Now everybody's finally getting that he's racist. Okay. 
Gaming, then got Heart 8 Times the Sensitive. Forgot what that video was about, but okay, drama. But look at this. Gaming, 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 gaming. Black Bond is a coward, drama. But gaming, look at all this gaming. Look at all this gaming. <laughs> With drama sprinkled here and there. See, that's the difference between me and you. I can be funny without drama. You know what I mean? The prank calls and, and all that type of shit. These are my most viewed videos. You know, the ones with a lot of views that you crumb snatchers wish you can get. And it's all without drama. Now, like I said, there's drama sprinkled all in there. Of course, I had to handle my business when I had to handle my business. But to say my channel was built on drama, you sound stupid. Life Behind Bars was huge. Got a lot of subs from that. That Jesus, Jesus buying them shit. Got a lot of subs from that. Reviews, live commentaries. Let's talk about pussy series. Must listen. Yeah, I got a bunch of shit that ain't no drama that got views. Like I got the, let's go to the playlist. The whole playlist. I got different playlists. I got, um, what? Uh, the Must Listen Collection, 28 videos. Life Behind Bars, 35 videos. Let's talk about Pussy 8 videos. Unboxing classic videos. Classic videos. I don't want to play the goddamn video. But this is classic videos that I thought were classic. They were real good. Few drama in there. But it's mostly gaming. You, you see? <laughs> but I built my channel on drama. <sighs> See, man, I don't know why I always have to prove you dudes wrong, man. But y'all know, keep it up. Keep up what y'all doing, man. Maybe somebody will watch. Quite sure they'll get tired of y'all making the same fucking video saying the same shit over and over again. Come up with a video that's entertaining to watch. Come up. Y'all not saying nothing. This is why y'all dudes are not getting anywhere. This is why y'all dudes are not getting anywhere. It's not working for you. Try to do some gaming. Maybe people will watch those, man. Build up your catalog. You crumb snatchers start a channel and want to attack from the rip. My first big break was Jesus buying them. Gaming. <laughs> took me from 200 subs to 3,000 in one motherfucking day. And I mean, the subs just kept going up. It was crazy. It was fucking crazy. But you see? You see that? Yeah, man. Top, what? I, I ain't see it in my, out of all my most viewed videos. We ain't see a drama video until, what, 48, 49, 50? One in the top 50? One drama video out of my top 50 most viewed videos. Let that sink in for a minute before you say my channel was built on drama. Look at all these views from all these gameplay videos or these different discussions that ain't got nothing to do with drama. And then politely, shut the fuck up. Shut your stupid asses up. And think before you fucking talk. Before you say my channel was built on drama, you fucking idiots. I told you, crumb snatchers. I know how to entertain outside of drama. How about you? <laughs> Don't seem to be working for you. Don't seem to be working for you. Little cr crumb snatchers for real. They're getting crumbs on these, on these channels. The views is crummy, dog. Crumbs. Try to be entertaining without drama. And maybe somebody will watch your shit. That's the difference between me and you. I could do drama and then flip it and do something else and it's still entertaining. Judging by all these views, 16.2 million to be total. To be exact. Total. To be exact. Whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> 40,000. Would that be a number you crumb snatches ever reach? We'll find out next time on episodes from the Crumb Side. <laughs> It's your boy R8, man. I'm out, man. I'm done, man. Sit on that, cocksuckers. <laughs> Deuces.